I don't want to give them all the names. Right away? Yeah, yeah I don't want to give them the names yet. We're just going to go in. You're going to have to find the name. I'm not going to tell you the name of the restaurant that we're going into. Mm. Let's get out of here. We shouldn't even show this place. I don't know how else to rate that, but unfucking believable. One night in Bangkok can make a hard man crumble. You ever had a slush puppy? Yeah. It tastes like that. When you put all the flavors. Yeah. Don't be scared. Create a handle. It's like a Dunkaroo. It has character like Rodney Dangerfield. Elmhurst, Queens. The sun is shining. The clouds are out. It looks like a storm is brewing there. One of the most eclectic blocks in between 77th and 76th. Would you call this Little Thailand? Baby Thailand? Khao Kang is quite possibly the most incredible establishment in New York City. I'm changed forever. It's like the first time I did DMT. I cried and then I changed. This uh, restaurant is Khao Kang restaurant. We opened for 10 years. We serve very authentic Thai food. In Thailand, we serve this style of food everywhere. Every day we have like 12 menu, change every day. If you come on Monday and Tuesday, so it's different, menu is different. We have like three dishes that is very really popular here. It's, uh, we call Mu uh -huh. It's like fried garlic pork. The second one is uh, called Pa Pa Cha. It's like a uh, curly fish. And the last one is green curly chicken. Ten minute drive from LaGuardia. It is. No traffic. And even if there is, fuck it. You put on WFAN, you listen to some sports talk. You know? WBGO, member supported. And you're good to go. That's what makes living better. Is WBGO, member supported jazz radio. <laughs> Shall we? <laughs> and you've eaten a lot of places. We should definitely try the string bean and fermented pork, the ground chicken, spicy shallot chicken. What are you into? Ooh, that over there. Fish ball. Thank you. Fermented pork with string bean, all kinds of crazy chili. Some sort of chicken here. Mm. This is something I would never order as a fish ball. But my lord, what in the fuck is going on? The texture of that is so fucking unreal. Mm. To be able to carry that spoon full from there across, I wish I had the thing like John Madden where we do the fucking play. The Telestrator. I do this method. I do stopovers. Mm. This looks like a perfectly ripe mango. Oh my god. Peak. Peak performance. It's another level. We shouldn't even show this place. <laughs> I don't want this shit. I want to fucking be able to get food. Send photographs back and forth so they remember. God. Remember him? He's coming. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Unreal. What's in there? I had one I couldn't identify. That's delicious. It's chocolatey, it's sweet. But then it's savory when you add the fucking cilantro and the chili. Oh my lord. Oh, it's like a black, it's like a bean. Some bean, yeah. Yeah, yeah. All these endorphins like rush to me now. Like it gives you natural testosterone. Yeah. All the spices and flavors. I'm teed up right now. Yeah. You hear that? The little slush? This is a tight icy. But you make it like slushy. Yeah. With the ice. I like chrysanthemum. I never had a chrysanthemum slushy. Thank you so much. This is unbelievable. Yeah. You're the best. This is crazy. Crazy. This is the area where you talk about, right? Diversity Plaza? It's an entire city within a block. I'm gonna give you a little recap of what happens every day. We find something unbelievable, we seek it out, and we destroy. 
The chicken samosa from Merit Kebab right here. Singular item that I would travel very near and far for. Get in there, chicken. Mm. Oh my god. Really light batter. Nice and crispy. The consistency of the grind That's right. of this inner working is a marvel. With that light shell. The shell's so light. Mm. Herbs, vegetable, onion, fucking cilantro, spice, just delicious. The perfect ground. What's up with this sauce? What is it? It's like a minty thing. It's mint. Mm. I think it's like only the dark meat. Gotta be. The breast is useless yeah. in this culture. Multiple countries, multiple variations. This is by far the best motherfucking samosa I've ever had in my life. My reference is thousands, hundreds of thousands of samosa. I'm not just talking out of my ass. That fucking painting? Whoa. That's heavy. It's a good painting. Let's go. The Momo and Noodle combo? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know a lot of places around here, they got Momos and going on, but a lot of people sleep on the spot. This is a sleeper? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It seems like that's what we have to do. Uh, it seems like we have to get Momo and Noodle combination back there. Yo, you really, really should. Yeah. It seems like that's what we have to do. There could be seven different businesses in here right now. Multi-dimensional, a Nepalese place, in the same open area. You can get cell phone, foot massage, halal meat over there. It's like some next level shit. There's nothing like this around. I've never, I've never witnessed the density of business upon business upon business and the brotherhood and sisterhood of working together. We're looking for the Momo, bro. We ordered the Momo, bro. It's gonna be happy, it's gonna be good. That is beautiful. Combo of all three, right? Of course. Substantially delicious. Thank you. Unbelievable. Yo, thank you. Peruvian-style chicken is done. It's almost like fucking, they're injecting that flavor while it's roasting. The, the juice never goes away, because when you break it, it's like fucking waterfall. Yeah. If there's three levels of chicken, you want the bottom one. The second best is the mid-tier. But the flavor is all in the juices which permeate the bird. Yeah. If it's constantly being like just dripped on, it's like waterboarding. Yeah. This is what I really love about coming in here. They always have beautiful tapestry. They have very, very beautiful ones. Actually, let me take you on a tour of tapestries. Please, walk with me. Another beautiful one. This is actually one of my favorites. The birds. Another one of my favorites. The intertwined birds. The color palette on this is phenomenal. And then we have these mosaic patterns. It's just unbelievable look. As we step this way, they just keep getting more 
psychedelic and intricate for me. It just means so much. It's all fractal. Yeah, out. it's fractal out of his mind. Now this one speaks to me in ways that I like to straighten them out if they're not straightened. Like a Grateful Dead rip off of the lightning bolt. It's true. Grateful Dead ripped off them. This is the original psychedelia. Oh yeah. Did you call 75, brother? Thank you so much. Take care, all right? I like going out this way. Bring it to the car. Dunk. No, don't, don't put on, dunk. It's like a dunkaroo. Don't be scared. Don't be afraid. Create a handle. We're mm. so tender. Right? Flip it on its other side so you can grab the handle of it. Now we're talking. Look at how beautiful those are. And that's just the underside. Look at this side. Oh, come on. Let's see? It's been there forever. It's just the, the, the yellow and red sign on fucking Ruzi. You know, that says barbecue on that fucking shit. That was how we found it. It says ribs and chicken. It's also at a quintessential intersection under the seven train that you kind of, when you're going here, it forces you to look around. And the barbecue sign has this like gentle patina of age that draws your eyes to it every time. What it has is character. It has character like Rodney Dangerfield. Don't you worry about it. Before I learned how to read, I knew what barbecue was. BBQ, those three letters mean more to me than any three letters that there are. NFL, NBA, BBQ. Came away from the joint right away. There was no struggle. There was no type of resistance. The brush tastes like that. It's aggressively salty, yet not too salty. It's the perfect flavor. That's flavor. That's the bottom chicken. Mm. That's the chicken from the bottom that all the drippings have been dripping on. I don't know what the fuck it's marinated in. It's just tremendous. You know how fucking happy good chicken makes me? Whole chickens, half chickens, I've lived off that my entire life. Fuck. It's one thing to have tremendous Peking style Chinese ribs. But to then go ahead and have unbelievable Peruvian chicken? Oh my fucking lord. I need to wash my hands. This is a proper mess. That chicken's sticky, right? <clears throat> Hold your hands out. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Well, that concludes this portion of Under the Seven Train with Doc Levine, Nick Coleman, the professor. Part two will be coming soon. We'll probably do around 20 parts. Fucking Puri spot. Maybe we bring fucking Shakira. She's Colombian. There's a little, there's some shit to look forward to here.